Hello all, I am Sai and you are watching the book dragon. In today's video, I am bringing to you my unboxing of the 999 rupees mystery book box from 99 books cart. Now I will say you guys how I got this uh, book box. Actually the founder of the website have actually checked out my channel and they liked my video. So they contacted me and asked if I would be interested in uh, unboxing a book hamper from them and tell the <clears throat> quality of the books and the service to you guys. So I just accepted it and I should say that this sounds to be a really good product because 15 books for 999 rupees it's a really good deal if you ask me because i've not bought that many books for just uh, 999 rupees from any other service before everything that is seen from outside is perfect in condition now talking about the website they have two main features uh that is they have this 999 mystery box the one thing about this mystery box is that uh, they'll just give you 15 random books which uh, is just for 999 rupees and it is worthy in one way but one downside is that you'll not be able to select the books that you're buying the second special feature about the website is that they have a specific section for books that just cost 999 rupees per book and i think that that's a really good service i also checked out some of the books in that service i've not bought any right now because i do have a lot of books already but i, I do consider buying some books from them in the future do check it out if you're interested because uh, both of those sections were really good uh, from my point of view when I checked out the website. I'll provide the links for both the 999 mystery box as well as the 99 rupees book section in the description. Do go and check it out. Another interesting thing which I found out from their uh, Instagram page is that they've sold nearly over 1000 of these 999 rupees boxes in just one month time that is between uh, December and January and I was impressed from that itself because I know book lovers like me if we don't like a product we will not endorse it in any way but if we like it we will just uh, support, in, support it in such a way that it becomes best selling and hot selling in any way and I do think that this product is uh, hot selling in that way. There are three things which I am going to check about all these 15 books in this box. The first one is the spine of the books. Uh, I don't care if the spine is cracked but if it is broken uh, it's not good quality for me. The second one is the covers. If the cover has sticker marks or if it's a bit dirty it's okay. I'm used to buying uh, used books like that and that is something which is acceptable. And the third one is the pages. If the pages are yellow, it's okay with me. But if they have some pen or pencil markings within inside the book, then it's not that great quality for me. So I'll be checking these three things and uh, letting you guys know how it is. And don't worry, while I check out each and every book, I'll be showing the zoom in shots of all the books in between the video. So you can just uh, check out the quality of the books for yourself. So without any further ado, let's get into the unboxing. I should say always unpackaging uh, some box like this feels like a present uh, for me. And it usually feels like a present when I pay money for it itself. And I've just got it for free in order to share my experience with you guys. So I'll just get into the box without talking further. So yeah guys, these are all the books and there are also some bookmarks and a card in this one. I'll show all of them to you. Okay, first we have a thank you card from them saying thank you. We are pleased to receive your order. Hope to see you again. This is one side of the card and this is the flip side. There are also some bookmarks but I'm not going to show them all to you because some of them are just the same again and again. I'll just show you the different ones. This is one. Flip side. This is one. I think this is the cutest of all. It's a raccoon reading a book. And yeah, this is the same. This one's cute. If you're a bookstagrammer, uh, bookstagrammer guys, I'm sure that you can make use of all these things. All the other bookmarks are just normal. Okay, this is kind of like a starry sky something. Yeah, that's it for the bookmarks. And you got like these two stickers. The same sticker, but two of those. So I checked the box guys, there are 15 books and all of them are paperbacks. Of these, uh, that's one thing which is sad for me. Uh, I own like three of the books that are already in this box and there is one book which intrigues me a lot. I didn't expect to see something like this inside this box. And let's just get into all the books now and you will be seeing close-ups while I talk about each and every one of the books. The first book in the box is actually the shortest in size of all the books and it is The Last Churer by John Grisham. I have not read any of these books except for the three which I said that I already own. Uh, so I'll just be guessing of uh, the genre and what these books are about. I think this must be something like a crime thriller or something. So also guys, if you've read any of the books that I'm showing in this uh, mystery box that I've not read, please do let me know how they are in the comments below. I'd like to uh, get to them as soon as I can. Now, the cover of the book looks good, both the front and back. The spine is also really good. It has some creases and it's not, it's cracked a bit, but it's not broken. Also, the pages are in really good condition. It's really, really soft. So if you're a person who doesn't want to crack the spine, I'm sure that this uh, copies like this one are really good. And yeah, I'm satisfied with this one. 
Next is a book which I already own. I've read this and I love it. And it's a psychological thriller. It's The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I don't have this edition. It's a hardcover and it's some other different edition. Okay, it's that black edition which we got, which you can see in many websites. And the copy is also really good. The cover has some spots. I think it's due to the fact that it's a used copy. And the back cover is also good. The spine is even more decent compared to the first book. And the pages are also in good condition. They are white. They are not even yellow. They are white. So, yeah. This one is also very much satisfying. Next, we have... Gone Tomorrow by Lee Child. I think this one is also kind of a thriller because the cover looks something like that. It shows a subway station with zooming trains and it is also blue and beautiful to look at. The condition of the book. The cover is okay. It has some creases in the front and back but it's okay. And the spine. The spine also has many cracks but it's not broken so I'm okay with that. Now moving on to the pages. The edges of the book looks so 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 brown and yellow together but inside the pages look pretty white yeah they are very white there are no pen marks so yeah good copy the next one is the book which i said that i did not expect and i'm very much pumped to read this i don't know when i'll be reading it but i'm i can see myself reading this in this year itself and i'm talking about dreams from my father by barack obama i think it's one of his other memoirs from before i've already bought my audiobook of uh, a promised land but i've not started reading it yet because I want to get the physical copy and I want to follow it along with this narration. So I'm waiting for that. Uh, this one is something which I didn't expect at all. And I'm sure that my brother will also be very much interested in reading this. Now the condition. Yeah. The front and back cover. Yeah. They are really good. It doesn't have any folds. Not even that, that many marks. Uh, yeah. The, the spine has a crack. It has a huge crack from top to bottom. It's okay. It's very much readable if you ask me. The pages are a bit yellow. Not that bad. And inside also the pages are really, really, really good. So yeah, this is also a really good copy. Even if it has, uh, if it, even if it had had a broken spine, I would not have bought it because I've thought of buying this book before and I did not expect to get this here. So I'm very much satisfied with this. The next book has a really beautiful cover and it is Lone Wolf by Jodie Pickle. I've heard really good things about Jodie Pickle's books before this one. I think this is a literary fiction from the cover. I'm just guessing it. And it is also really, really good. Okay, The color scheme of this book is really beautiful, guys. I think it's very much Instagrammable rather than any of the other books that I can see here right now. And yeah, the front and back cover are okay, but the front cover has some huge sticker stain. I'll try to remove it sometime. And the spine is bent. Okay, it's cracked as well as bent. It's not broken, but it is very much bent. And the pages are white. There's no problem with the pages at all. Now, the ink papers look really, really beautiful, guys. Now uh, the last in paper it just looks so gorgeous. The next one is another book which I said that I already own and it is also one book which I've read and loved a lot. I'm talking about The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. Uh, actually I should say that this exactly looks like the copy that I actually own. Same edition, not even difference in the edition and the same shiny cover. And yeah, the cover looks good. It's a bit dirty in the front but it's okay. And the spine is very much bent. My spine is not this bad, so okay. It is readable in every way if you ask me. Also, the edges of the paper look a bit yellow, but inside the pages are really, really good. It's a wonderful uh, adult crime thriller, guys. So if you're a person who likes reading crime thrillers and murder, murder mystery thrillers like that, especially if you're a character-driven reader, I'm sure that you're going to love Lise Bitzelander, who's the girl with the dragon tattoo in this one, because she's just awesome. The review of mine for this book is one of my highest rank videos, so do check it out if you're interested. The next one is... Picture Perfect by Jodie Pickelt. So this is the second book by Jodie Pickelt in this box, which is also surprising for me because I am interested in reading some books by this author. I've heard that her books are really good. And this seems like a romance rather than a literary fiction because of the present and the women's hand over there. Uh, the condition of this book. The front and back cover look really, really good. Okay, I can't see anything that's wrong about this. It doesn't look that much like a old copy at all, except for the spine. The spine is cracked. I don't know who the reader was. They've read it perfectly until like three fourths of the book and the last chunk alone they've cracked the spine. It's not broken, it's cracked and the pages are also pretty white and it's very much readable. Next we have Cross Country by James Patterson. Okay, I think this is a thriller because it says thriller in the... Okay, it says best-selling thriller author in the front cover itself. The cover is really, really beautiful. Usually I don't like covers with photographs like uh, this one in the front. But this one looks very, very intriguing. It's not a photograph. It's, I think it's a digital art. It looks really beautiful. The back cover is also really good. This just looks like a really good copy, guys. But this spine is cracked again. I have not even seen one book without a cracked spine until now. Let's just hope I see at least one book. Uh, not like 
that towards the end yeah the pages are pretty white it's pristine if you ask me inside the book looks really really good yeah very much satisfied with this one as well the next one in this box is a family christmas by katie flynn okay i think this is also a literary fiction i don't like the cover of this book i usually don't like seeing people on the covers that's one of the main reasons the front cover looks good it has some spots but it looks good the back cover has some sticker marks and it's okay it's not bad the spine yeah the spine is cracked in this one also i don't know why all the books have cracked spines why and the pages are white they are not even yellow they are white and inside also the pages look really really good the condition of this one is also really good next we have sycamore row by john grisham it says it's the sequel to a time to kill by john grisham again and i think this is a thriller because the cover looks very much like it and i've also heard that yeah the the title a time to kill itself seems like a thriller so this is the second book i'll have to buy the first one and read it and then only get to this one the cover is really good okay it's a bit dirty because of the fact that it's a white cover the back cover is a bit yellow i don't know why the pages are a bit yellow but they are okay they are in really good condition okay inside the pages look really really good so yeah this one is also very much worth if you ask me the spine is cracked just as usual i expected it but i should say this is also a very satisfying book from the box next one in the box i think it's another memoir but it looks like a movie memoir or the memoir of a star and it is how did all this happen by john bishop it says my story as the sub heading or subtitle and this is the cover of the book i should say this cover is really good because i said that i don't like people on book covers but i do like close up shots of faces on book covers and that makes this look really really beautiful i don't know who john bishop is so if you guys know please do let me know the condition of the book the front and back covers look good uh yeah this has a coffee stain in the front cover which is very annoying if you ask me the back cover is good the spine is cracked again but it is less cracked compared to the previous books in the box so very much good in that way uh the pages are really white and it also has some photographs in between so yeah i think this will be an interesting read i i'll have to know who this actor is first and then i'll have to start reading the book yeah other than that the condition of the book is really good the next one in the box is the new mrs clifton by elizabeth butchin okay it says the sunday times best seller so it might be a good book who knows i think this is a literary fiction from the cover i'm just guessing that it's a literary fiction it shows just a house the cover looks good there's a half price sticker which is not that great uh, the cover looks good but it's very very dirty okay the back cover is also similarly good but dirty uh the spine is not at all cracked in this one guys so we have one book without a cracked spine until now okay there are just three more books in the box left but there's at least one book without a cracked spine which is a win if you ask me and the pages are also good they have some spots in the edges but inside the pages look really good and it's also a very floppy paperback so yeah good copy again the next one in the box is carpe corpus the morganville vampires book 6 by rachel kane okay so this book 6 i'll have to read the first five books in the series if i'm interested at all uh the cover of this one okay it looks like a fantasy romance rather than anything because of the fact that it has vampires and the book also uh, sorry the cover also looks very very uh, typical way if you ask me yeah the cover is so dirty it has a lot of marks and scratches all over the back cover is similar to the front cover it has some splatterings of blood like design it looks uh, that looks cool if you ask me uh the spine is cracked obviously and yeah the in, the paper edges are good inside also the book looks really good cracked spines are okay guys okay they are not that bad but i'm just uh, saying that they are cracked because they are cracked but other than that the book looks really good the next book in the box is also another one which i own this is the last book which i actually own but i should say this is one of my all time favorite books guys i am a person who's not that much into romantic books but this one is one of my all time favorites for no reason at all i made my brother uh, read this and he also loved it one this one and i'm talking about ps i love you by cecilia ehern okay it's just a beautiful beautiful book guys but the edition that i own it's not this one this is the movie time cover usually i don't like movie time covers as well but this one i love okay it just what is the mood of the book in the perfect way if you ask me i've not watched the movie but i definitely do want to because it's such a wonderful beautiful beautiful story guys please do go and try it out it's just gorgeous okay it's a gorgeous gorgeous story uh talking about the condition the front and back covers look good it's a bit dirty but it's good uh the pages are really really nice okay they are not even yellow they are white and really good 
the spine has some cracks but very much treatable so yeah this is definitely going to my collection i wanted i uh, wanted to buy this book for very long, for a very long time but i didn't buy it just because of the fact that i already have a copy but yeah i'm very very happy for having received this specific edition of this book okay moving on to the last book in the box we have the time of our lives by jane costello okay i think this is a romantic or a contemporary book because the cover just gives the typical vibe and i think it will be very much suitable for reading during the summer because it looks like a holiday book rather than anything i'm not sure about any of the plots of any of these books guys but this just seems like a summer book for me and the cover looks really beautiful okay the back cover is also good there's a little spine uh, tear in the spine but it's okay it's not that bad the spine is not broken in this one so another uh, win here it's not even cracked it's really good the pages are also really really white yeah I'm very much satisfied with this copy as well and I think I might read this soon because this calls to me in some way or the other. Let's just wait and see if I end up reading this quickly or not. So yes guys those were the 15 books that I've got in this box and I should say that I'm very 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 satisfied. Okay the condition of the books is really good. For 999 rupees and 15 books I did not expect such a good quality. I thought that the books will not be that good but I should say except for the spines okay I keep my spines uh unbent and unbroken that doesn't mean that everyone will keep it in the same way and used books are uh, supposed to have things like that and i think that makes them special in one way or the other not even one spine was broken i'm very much uh, i was very much mindful about that while uh, seeing all the books they had cracks but i should say that they they are very much good in quality in every way and i did not even see one book that was not that much for quality they have not compromised quality when it comes to just giving 15 books for uh, 999 rupees it's a really good profit if you ask me in that way also you did see that there were three books inside the box which i already own so i might give away those books sometime in the future so do cons uh, consider subscribing if you're new here and i do put out uh, new videos every sunday tuesday thursday and saturday don't forget to check out the links of 99 books card from my description coming to the um, delivery of the books uh, I got I, I received the box from uh, five days from when it uh, when it was ordered I did not pay money for that they ordered it for me and uh, sent it to my home it just took five days and the tracking was also really really good I was able to see each and every transit for the in the proper way each and every day at least two or three transit uh, tracking were there so it's very much easy to track and the service was really really good I am very much satisfied and I do think of uh, buying some books in, in the near future from them so do consider buying from the website and I should say that this was a really wonderful experience do check out the links from the description I do think that it's very much worth it and that's it for today if you did enjoy watching today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends if you want to get more content from me do subscribe to the channel because I publish new videos every Sunday Tuesday Thursday and Saturday thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day